Hi, this is Dan from userspice.com. What I want to do today is walk you through the process of downloading UserSpice, installing it, doing some setup, and then creating your own project. If you're not familiar with UserSpice, what it does is manages all of your users and decides who can access what page and what they can do once they get there. I think it fills a really interesting need because a lot of these types of projects are designed to basically take over your entire your entire system. You have to use their CMS, you have to use their forums, you have to use their templating system. And instead, User Spice is designed to basically handle those few tasks and then just get out of your way so you can design your own project. We're going to be using User Spice version 3.1 beta, which will be available on the site by the time you see this video. Um, so just head on over to userspice.com and download it. And then once you download it, you will copy it over to a folder. In this situation, I'm running it as a local host. I'm running it on my own ZAMP server. And uh, I've just copied it into a folder called Wheel, which will make a lot more sense as this product uh, becomes a developed thing. And so we're going to come in here. We're just going to extract it. We're going to just hit extract here. And it's going to make all these folders for you. I just want to show you a little bit about what's in here. Uh, this stuff folder contains a bunch of little tools that you might want, just an example, favicon, some uh, HT access stuff, and just little things that you might want to use, might want to add to your site. Uh, there's blank pages in here which are used as examples, so if you want to create your own page in addition to what I have, you can kind of use these as templates. We'll get into some of these special blanks a little bit later. But there's some really awesome classes in here that are great for developing your own project. There's this generic CSS. This thing is built on Bootstrap, which means it's very responsive no matter what size screen it's on. And uh, because Bootstrap is a well-developed library, you can go out there and get other Bootstrap templates and make the, the whole project look how you want. We use Font Awesome and a few other font things. There's a helpers function where you can just kind of put some of your generic functions, place to store some of your images. Uh, you can replace this user spice logo with your own logo or uh, make any kind of modifications. There's the install folder, some JavaScript, the licenses, so you can see uh, you know all the people that have contributed to this project, and just a bunch of other files down here. Um, the first thing you need to do to install user spice is you need to create a database. You don't have to do anything special with it. Uh, again, I'm running XAMPP, so I have access to PHP My Admin. If you're on a live server, you use whatever they want you to use. But I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to create a database. I'm calling mine Wheel. Again, that'll make a lot more sense as this project goes on. Um, I already actually I already have it. It's here. It's empty. Um, but you just have a, a blank database handy. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come in here to your models folder, and you are going to go to your settings. And I'm going to open that in Atom. And you're going to come in here and you're going to give your database configuration. So my database name is called Wheel. I'm running as root. I have no password because this is just a demo project. You can uh, come in here put your own copyright message. Dan, I'll call it Dan from User Spice. There we go. Um, you're going to want to change your keys here for reCAPTCHA. If you don't change them, you'll get a nag message. If you're going to use Stripe, you can put that information here. But that's all you need to do to get your setup. You're going to change those few settings, save it, close it. You're going to come over to your browser, and you're going to go to localhost or wherever you have your uh, software unzipped. You're going to go. I'm going to go localhost forward slash wheel. You'll see it's automatically going to redirect me to the installer and it's going to come in here first and check my PHP version. Once it gives me the good to go that I'm above version 5.5, I can come over here and click install user spice and I'm going to see some stuff come up on the screen and the final message is the most important database setup complete please delete the install folder. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to navigate to my wheel folder and I'm going to delete that install folder as it's kind of a security risk you don't want to leave it there and then just to show you what happened, if you come over here to the database, it was blank, and now you'll see that if I click it, 
all of my tables have been inserted in the database, my permissions have been set up, and all of that stuff. So great, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go back to the root. And what needs to happen now is you need to create the first user. And the first user is special because it's automatically going to be assigned the administrator role. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to sign up. And I'm going to make an account called admin. I'm going to give it a super secret password. I'm just going to go admin at AOL.com just because this is a test site. And I'm going to tell Google that I am not a robot. And when I hit register, I'll get something saying that my registration has been completed. I can log in. I'm going to log in, admin, super secret password. And I forgot to click that. So you'll see the capture works. Get my password right. Tell them I'm not a robot. This time they don't believe me, so I have to click everything that has grass in it. Hopefully it'll be those two. I successfully passed the test, and now I can log in.